primary school, housing estate, MTR station, estate office. It's the bugs which are going to win this war. <laughs> Great big handfuls of them. Pork chops, potatoes, carrots, peas, salt, pepper, and gravy. Thick bowls of gravy. I don't want to ever even see rice again. Every time you take a step on it, it starts to hurt until finally it's just every time. It's like someone sticking electrodes directly into your head. Yeah. We're putting bets on which one of us is going to die first. <laughs> yes, Sham Shui Po's mecca for those seeking a gripping tale, some light relief and a happy ending. I'm just a little Hawaiian, a homesick island boy. So we're down there in the hold. It's almost completely pitch black. Can't see a bloody thing. And we're giving it some with buckets, trying to get this water out. This shark, he must have got a taste in me bloody, because he comes swimming over. And bugger me if not, he takes a bite, clean out my leg. Just like that. It's a prisoner's duty to escape. I have no right to still be walking. I should lie down and give up. <laughs> it's over. Japan is surrendering. What was all this for? The old ways can't go on. We've been through too much together. It's time to rebuild. And to do it better. Good evening again. <laughs> Thank you for staying. Um, my name is Rossella Ferrari. I teach here at SOAS in the Department of uh, East Asian Languages and Cultures. And this is Bill Aitchison, who is a British performance artist who is now based in China and uh, Mr. Mok Chu Yu, who is the dramaturg and producer of the um, show. Before 1997, we had already been doing plays, you know, which are very anti-colonialist. Uh, we came from the political position of, you know, rejecting capitalism, rejecting colonialism, but at the same time, rejecting, you know, the Chinese uh, totalitarian bureaucracy, all right? So we, we have been doing quite a, a number of plays. You know. The two scripts were developed uh, at the same time, right? But, but in these parties um, of a commoner, like a, a con outside the camp, right? Not inside. So he first performs life outside and then you perform life inside or the That's two right, parts? That's right, yeah. Oh, okay. um, there's one or two moments where we kind of Crossover, the one or two connections, uh, but not so many. Okay. Uh, it's essentially uh, focusing on these two rather different but complementary experiences. You know, it's all c all coming, okay? And Hong Kong is getting more and more like China. So Which I'm very interested to know how your play has been received in Hong Kong. Not many of the audience, you know, it's, it, it's an occasion that they found out, you know, more about. Uh, the history of Hong Kong then. Uh, and, and then they felt that they did not know terribly much about that part of history. Now, whether they pick up the point, you know, as I said, you know, that what we or some of us wanted to say in this, you know, is that, okay, it won't be long, yeah? This is supposed to be encouraging. Don't get depressed. Although, you know, we seemingly did not get anything in 2014. Now, some people pick it up, some did not, you know. They Interestingly, performed this in mainland, um, in, a, in a theater festival in Shandong. And one of the, the things I was not expecting, uh, and was not one of the, the things I kind of deliberately put into the show, uh, was that uh, I had quite a number of Christians after the show thanking me for show, uh, having bits of the Bible in, in, the, in the show. Um, and I think the reason may be 
because um, because faith was uh, I'm not a practicing Christian myself, but uh, I know at that point in time that was an Im important, uh, more important force perhaps than now. And uh, I can only guess that uh, in mainland it's because uh, Christians are not represented, not represented in the news, not represented in fictions. Uh, they're kind of an invisible, a significant number of people, but invisible.